Hello friends, welcome to Guru Nanak Cares. Well friends, today we are going to talk about the four walls of the heart, the valvular disorders and the top three homeopathic medicines to treat these valvular disorders. In short, let me uh, just tell you, there are four walls in the heart, two at the entry and the exit points, one is the pulmonary valve, the aortic valve and two walls in the two chambers of the heart. The left chamber contains the mitral valve and the right chamber contains the tricuspid valve. The main function of the walls, in short, is to uh, allow the blood to flow in a single direction and not in the reverse direction. At times what happens, the walls get damaged or calcified due to hardening of the walls. There appears a valvular disorder in the heart. For example, uh, let's take the example of the mitral valve. In case the valve, uh, like it, it is in the shape of this, uh, the valve allows blood to flow in one direction. At times what happens? The walls get hardened due to calcification or otherwise. The walls do not open completely, so not allowing the full amount of blood to flow in that direction. This is called mitral stenosis. At other times, the walls do not shut completely, but the flaps overlap one another. This allows some amount of blood to leak into the reverse chamber. That is again not good for the heart. This is called mitral regurgitation or the valve leakage in simple terms. Both the conditions are not good for the patient if not treated uh, immediately. They can give, to li give rise to life-threatening conditions. But fortunately, we have an excellent remedy, rather three top homeopathic medicines to treat these kind of valvular disorders. I'll take one by one in priority. The first medicine is Cactus. The name is Cactus Grandiflorus. Uh, well, friends, Cactus is a, a miraculous medicine where we are con uh, considering the valvular disorders. Uh, the symptoms associated with the Cactus medicine are almost the same as uh, experienced by a person having valvular disorders, particularly mitral insufficiency. The first and the foremost symptom that comes across is constriction in the chest just above the heart. And the constrictions, friends, is so strong as if some band has been tied very strongly across the chest. That is the very first symptom that matches exactly with cactus. Secondly, the palpitations are so violent, the heartbeat is so fast, so violent that the patient can easily hear them. The palpitations are so violent. Again, uh, uh, the same symptom that comes across with cactus. The third most important sy symptom is that of the angina pectoris. As we all know, angina is a deep uh, pain in the chest, a very severe pain in the chest that arises from the left side of the heart and goes to the left arm, the shoulder, up to the elbow. And uh, cactus uh, affects uh, the uh, angina, the, it arrests the angina pectoris symptoms there and then. One of the most important symptoms that arises out of cactus is the endocarditis. Uh, well friends, endocardium is the inner lining of the heart which protects the heart. But uh, due to some bacterial infection or otherwise, if there is some kind of inflammation in the endocardium, that is called endocarditis. And if the patient has endocarditis along with mitral insufficiency, Cactus grandiflorus is the medicine to cure this symptom. It has miraculous results. Believe me, cactus is one of the best medicines that happens to be in homeopathy for uh, treating valvular disorders. The second medicine that comes across is digitalis. Digitalis, uh, friends, we can rename it as a heart therapy, a medicine particularly uh, available for the heart. Again, I will just uh, go through the symptoms. The patient has a very slow pulse. The palpitations are very strong. The weak heart is there in the patient. The angina uh, uh, symptoms are very pronounced. And uh, the irregular heartbeat is there. And very important uh, symptom that comes across is uh, the hypertrophy of the heart. Whether it is uh, mitral stenosis or regurgitation, there always occurs an increased pressure in the left atrium because of this. And that leads to a pressure in the chest that goes on the shoulder and to the left arm and due to which the heart tends to increase in size at times that's called the hypertrophy of the heart and this hypertrophy is curable is manageable along with digitalis it is the best medicine for the heart the third medicine that comes to mind is calmia 
Calmia again is uh, required when the patient has a, a weak, slow, and weak and slow pulse. The palpitations are pronounced, and there are sharp pains in the chest. And the patient, patient f, um, uh, experiences the pains like it is as if it was going to take away the breath of the patient. So sharp pains, as if the piercing through the, with a knife. Uh, calmia affects and uh, these symptoms and cures the valvular disorders. There are numerous other medicines, but the top three medicines are these cactus, digitalis, and calmia. Well, friends, I hope this information will bring definitely bring a cheer to my patients with valvular disorders. I hope you like this video. Do subscribe the channel, like it, and share it further to spread the in, uh, knowledge. You know, knowledge is prevention. And if you really like it, uh, looking forward to meet you soon again with some more heart diseases and their diagnosis, the symptoms, and the part of treatment. See you soon in the next video. Take care of your health. God bless.